Joining me is former Hereford United goalkeeper Kevin Rose. Now, Kevin, you started your career, you were like Evesham, Worcester, Lincoln, Redbury. How did your signing for Hereford come about? Um, it was in 1983, uh, trying to think now. Um, they'd had four or five keepers, probably more than that, that season. And there was an opportunity, they didn't have a keeper, and they played Oldershot at home, which I think was the first game out in, into the new year. So um, the manager at Ledbury, Roy Green, he was friends with uh, Peter Hill, the chairman. So he asked if I could uh, play that, that game to help them out. That's how it really started. You made 253 consecutive league appearances for Hereford. One of those games was against Arsenal in the FA Cup. What do you remember from that match? Uh, we battered them, basically. Um, they only had a couple of shots on target. Um, fortunately, one went in. Um, there was over 16,000 or close to 16,000. It was you know, a great atmosphere, rock hard pitch. Um, and I think we deserved to win in the end, but John Lukic pulled off two or three sort of world-class saves. Are you still in contact with any former Hereford players that you used to play with? Um, not really. I see Stuart Phillips around Hereford occasionally. Um, last time I saw Mal Pedic was a few years ago, went up to Bolton, where he was a physio there. We had a, a day, day up there with Mal, watched the game, and went on the pitch afterwards and in the dressing rooms, so, which was nice to see. So obviously I had played for Bolton when they were at the uh, Burnham Park, but this was the uh, Reebok Stadium at the time. So, you know, a few Christmas cards floating around every Christmas, but you know, it's, it's hard really to keep in touch with um, a lot of the old players. You left Hereford in 1989, you went to Rochdale, Carl, Bolton, then Kidderminster, Harriers. Um, you won the conference in 94, but it must have been a massive frustration not to get promotion to the Football League because of the ground problems. That's right, we, we knew at Christmas that if we did win the league, we wouldn't go up. Um, and that made us more, more determined to win it, really, in a way. Um, but at the end of the season, obviously, the ground was up to standard, but um, we still wasn't allowed up, so it was, you know, it was hard. You're currently retired from football. Um, how do you earn a living now? Um, I work for a company called HSL. They're a compliance company. Uh, we sort of deal, deal uh, with Legionnaire's disease, basically. Uh, checking water tanks and water systems, monitoring. My main role is I organise um, building new water tanks or installing new water tanks in, in housing blocks, you know, community centres, that sort of thing. 